Hi, Dr. Hagmeyer here again, and I'm glad you made it to this side of the website. This video, I promise, is going to help you really understand so much more about your health and really why you feel the way that you do. Now, if you suffer with thyroid problems, Hashimoto's disease, autoimmune thyroid disease like Graves, uh, then the symptoms that go along with it, the fatigue, the heart palpitations, the feeling cold or hot all the time, the bloating, the indigestion, the heartburn, the brain fog, it's probably all too familiar in your daily struggles uh, with this disease and is probably just a major cause of stress and frustration. Now the good news is that 90% of the time thyroid problems, they really have their root causes in several different key factors that if you address these factors through dietary changes as well as some very specific targeted nutritional support, uh, you can get better, okay? Now I'm going to assume that you're here because you're looking for an approach that goes really just above and beyond taking more medications, right? You're here because you're not looking for more of the same. You're not looking for more of what hasn't worked. You're looking for something that is going to really just get to some of the core causes and the mechanisms of why you feel the way that you do. Now, there really are three things that you need to understand. And if you can understand these three things, you're gonna understand why my approach is so successful. I'm not here to sell you any kind of specific supplements. I'm not here to tell you that I know what's wrong with you yet. I don't have any advice to give you in terms of what you should be taking or what you should be eating, okay? But what I can tell you is that if you want to get healthy, you need to understand these very three things today, okay? Number one is that when it comes to people that have thyroid problems, we have to kind of step back for a moment and we really have to look at what we call this big picture, okay? We really need to go above and beyond just trying to chase symptoms and treat symptoms but instead we need to figure out how to make the body healthy, right? Your thyroid gland is very, very complex and if all you do is treat symptoms and you ignore many of these critical keys, you're only gonna get sicker, okay? Dumping more and more thyroid medication into your body is not the answer, okay? If that worked, you wouldn't feel as lousy as you do and you wouldn't be suffering with all of those symptoms, okay? You'd be feeling great by now. Now, if you want to get well, all right, and, you, and you're done with putting just band-aids you know, over these symptoms, we really need to identify many of the key players that are, at, or that are really at the actual root cause of your thyroid condition. In other words, we really need to dig in, we need to investigate these seven factors, okay? Number two, okay, we need to support your body by identifying what's wrong with it rather than guessing. Boy, oh boy. I'll tell you, I, I think the reason so many patients fail to improve when really trying a natural approach is that all they're doing is really guessing about what's wrong, okay? Without proper testing, uh, the best you can really do is just guess, okay? And I will tell you that we don't guess about your health in our office, okay? Many people that I consult with are, are just taking and popping one supplement after the next supplement after the next supplement. They're taking this supplement for that symptom, they're taking this supplement for that symptom, and that really doesn't work. Really, all you're doing is really trying to chase symptoms with natural supplements. You're not taking a very methodical approach to really working on whatever system in your body really has been shutting down or, or failing, okay? You're not giving your body really what it needs. The third thing that I see often happening is that each patient suffering with thyroid disease is different. I can't say and tell you that enough times because what I see happening is just cookie cutter approaches out there with different thyroid pro programs and different doctors that many of the patients who eventually come to our office have gone through, okay? We all have different lifestyles. We all have different nutritional requirements. We all have different daily stressors. We all have different biochemistry. We all have a different set of stressors that are being placed and disrupting the various systems of our body. So understanding what makes you different and what your imbalances are and what's happening with your biochemistry is the key to correcting your thyroid problem, okay? And this is really why testing is so important. Rather than guessing and losing out on so much precious time, we can actually focus in and zero in on really where your problem is coming from. Now, here's the thing. When you're trying to get to the root cause of your thyroid disorder, there are eight keys that almost always assure success for the patient if the doctor you're working with understands them, okay? And that's really the key. The doctor that you're working with needs to understand these components and how these all integrate and fit together, okay? Now, I wanna to explain to you those because I really believe that uh, this will be of just incredible value to you once you hear them, okay? So the first key here is a lack of beneficial bacteria in our gastrointestinal system. We all need to have healthy bowel function but we also need those healthy bacteria for healthy thyroid function, okay? And here's the thing, 
Antibiotic use, really at any point in your lifetime, may have altered the optimal levels. Okay? You might be saying, well, what is my, what is the bacteria in my, in my stomach have to do with my thyroid? Well, do you know that in order to have normal uh, T3 levels, okay? Well, let me, let me back up for a moment here. Do you have normal T4 levels and low T3 levels, okay? Because if you do, what's happening is your body is not converting the acti uh, T4 into T3, which is the active form. And one of the causes behind poor thyroid conversion is what we call gut dysbiosis, okay? One of the places thyroid conversion takes place is in your gut, and specifically by the bacteria in your gut, okay? Research shows that in fact 20% of T4 to T3 is converted by those very bacteria, okay? So you can't ignore the importance of the gut as it relates to thyroid performance. Now, key number two is the possible presence of what we call uh, intestinal permeability. This is also known as a leaky gut. Now, this is especially important for individuals who have autoimmune thyroid disease, meaning they have Hashimoto's or they have Graves' disease. 70% of your immune system lies in your gut. And these, there are structural proteins that really hold these, these cells, these barrier cells together. And these proteins, uh, occludin and zonulin, uh, to name a few of them, and actin, these can be under the attack of your immune system. And if these proteins are the site of an autoimmune attack, now what's gonna happen is you're gonna have all sorts of foreign proteins from the foods you eat, uh, from mold, from bacteria, from viruses, from, from the environment, heavy metals, that will get trafficked across this bacteria, back, this, this barrier rather, and now you'll begin to experience gut inflammation and what we call neuroinflammation to the brain. What I try to tell people is this. Imagine the Great Wall of China being broken down by a neighboring country's army. Bacteria, parasites, molds, toxins like plastic, BPA, other environmental toxins and endocrine disruptors uh, really can now get into areas where the immune system really doesn't want them. And that can be a major problem. And this could be one of the causes behind your brain fog or the loss of focus or the concentration issues, okay? This is also a potential cause into any autoimmune disease, okay? Key number four is food sensitivity testing. Now, there are many different foods that you could be eating day in and day out, right? Foods that you wake up in the morning that you think you're sitting down having a, a good, healthy breakfast. These very foods that you're eating could be triggering and creating sickness and disease in your body. Now, it's interesting. Hippocrates, the father of medicine, said, let food be your medicine. Well, if the foods you're eating, you're immunologically reacted to, you're causing inflammation, you're causing more damage to your thyroid, you're causing more damage to your heart, and you're causing more damage to your brain, okay? Now, because we work with patients implementing lifestyle changes, dietary changes, one of the tests that we use will take the guesswork out of what foods you can eat and what foods you can eat as it relates to improving thyroid function. Now, key number five, is really important because this, this is dealing with uh, what we call cofactors, which are vitamins and mineral deficiencies, okay? I have not seen a patient yet who has a thyroid problem that also doesn't have a vitamin D deficiency. Now, I want you to think for a moment here. If you have a vitamin D deficiency, vitamin D isn't really the only vitamin in your body, is it, right? There's lots of other different vitamins. And what I find through, through a series of different tests that we run in our office, these advanced, very sophisticated tests, is that we can find other deficiencies that are actually causing and holding back your, your thyroid from performing the way it should, okay? And that's critical, all right? There's obviously specific nutritional requirements uh, that your thyroid has. Some of the medications that you're taking may be robbing your body of these specific nutrients. And by identifying what nutrients these are, what vitamins you're deficient in, what cofactors you're deficient in, we can now target in into where those biochemical blockages are in what we call your body's biochemistry, right? We can feed your thyroid really what it's asking for instead of just having you waste a whole bunch of money on different supplements that you have no ideas in terms of whether or not you need them or don't need them, okay? So it takes the guesswork out of really what your body is, is requiring. Now, key number six has to do with balanced hormones, okay? This is very, very important. Uh, here, what we're talking about is we're talking about things like estrogen, we're talking about progesterone, we're talking about testosterone. Um, too much estrogen, too little progesterone poses just a huge problem for both men and women who have thyroid problems. Not only does too much estrogen cause cancer, but too much estrogen in your body will actually prevent thyroid hormone from being delivered to the cell. 
and it'll also be a major cause of why you're not converting T4 into T3. This is what we call under conversion. I've done several videos on that. But I see many men and, and women come to the office that have normal TSH levels, they have normal T4 levels, which is typically really all, all most doctors and, and even some endocrinologists ever really check. But when you actually do one more test called T3, those T3 levels are actually very, very low, okay? How would you know that if you have too much estrogen in your body, all right? What are the symptoms of too much estrogen? Well, if you're a woman, you're gonna have heavy periods. You're gonna have heavy cramping. You may have breast tenderness. You might be moody and irritable. You might have anxiety. You might be depressed. You might have migraines. You might have fluid retention. If you're a man, you've had prostate cancer. Uh, maybe you have heart problems. Might, you might be depressed. You might be emotional. You might have a loss of, of sexual libido. You may notice that if you work out, uh, there's a slow recovery process uh, that goes with that workout. Maybe you experience more soreness or your muscles don't recover as soon as uh, they once did, okay? So very, very important. Now, what often happens is because I work with a lot of women that are perimenopausal or even menopausal, many of them have had hysterectomies, okay? And when we start to dig into why they had that hysterectomy, we often find that the reason was because they had a, a history of endometriosis or it, the, uh, the uterus and ovaries were removed, okay? So they had a hysterectomy because they had heavy bleeding, right? Well, heavy bleeding and all those signs of PMS, that's a, 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 a glaring hormonal imbalance, okay? And just because you've had that, that gland or that organ removed doesn't mean that you fix the problem, okay? Key number seven, this has to do with detoxification, okay? We can't talk about hormones without also talking about liver and gallbladder function. And part of what the liver does is it actually breaks down, it recycles, and it reuses hormones in your body. And if your liver and gallbladder cannot get rid or recycle these hormones the way they're supposed to, well, what's going to happen is your hormones become out of balance. Bottom line here is that you can't have healthy hormones if your liver and gallbladder are not working at their best, okay? Now, another key, and this is a very, very key important aspect of the liver, is that studies show that as much as 60%, again, of thyroid conversion, T4 to T3, actually takes place in the liver. So here again, if you have problems where your doctor's telling you that your thyroid levels are normal, but yet you have a lot of thyroid symptoms, and you're taking Synthroid or you're taking Levothyroxine, what's happening is your body's not converting T4 into T3, okay? And so these things that we've been talking about are, are the things that really need to be investigated to make sure and ensure that you convert these hormones the way you're supposed to. So here again, if you have problems with your liver and you have problems with your gut, no matter how much thyroid medication you just keep taking, you're still going to put your body in a state of deficiency because your body is losing upwards of 80% uh, of that thyroid conversion. Remember, 60% of the thyroid hormone is being converted in the liver, 20% is being converted by those gut bacteria. So that's 80% right there. Key number eight to healthy thyroid function has to do with your adrenal glands, right? No discussion of the significance and the importance of your thyroid gland would be complete if we ignore the adrenals, right? Your adrenals make life-saving hormones, and one of them is cortisol. This is one of the stress hormones, and it's the hormone that really works in very, very close concert with your thyroid. So you need just the right amount of cortisol for your thyroid to function optimally, and any imbalance can really result in either an overactive thyroid or actually an underactive thyroid caused by adrenal gland imbalances, okay? So here's the thing. As you can see, your thyroid is so much more than just a TSH and a T4, okay? Uh, which is really what 90% of patients who come into my office, really, that's all they've ever had done. And so the thyroid, again here, it's very, very complex. And unless you work with someone, okay, unless you work with someone who understands all of the different facets that go along uh, and you know the different glands and systems that, that play a major role behind the scenes, you're only gonna get sicker year after year. And if your problem, what I would really stress to you here is that if your problem was just simply a deficiency of thyroid hormone, well, you would take these thyroid hormones and life would be back to normal. You'd be jumping out of bed. You would, you'd have great focus again. You'd have great concentration. You, you wouldn't be gaining weight. You wouldn't be suffering with anxiety. You wouldn't be suffering with depression. Uh, you wouldn't be losing your hair, all right? You'd have meaningful relationships. You wouldn't avoid going out with your friends or your spouse because you're too tired, okay? People now are often shocked when they realize that all these things that we've just talked about are the things that affect your thyroid and ultimately your health, right? So my program is not just about making numbers look pretty on paper while on the inside you still feel terrible. My thyroid recovery program is really about giving you your life back. 
right? If you're looking for a doctor who's really going to spend time digging into these areas, um, you know, in terms of, of explaining to you why you feel the way that you do, if you're looking for a doctor who's going to really help you really just get your life back and do it naturally, I want you to tell you that you have come to the right place, okay? On this page, there's a chance for you to request a free phone consultation with me. Now, here's the thing. Please only fill this form out if you're interested in becoming a patient, okay? Unfortunately, I cannot offer any advice to you over the phone as to what you should do about medications or what kind of supplements you should take or what kind of foods you should be eating. I wish I had the time to answer all of these questions, okay? But the fact of the matter is, is that's not what this form is for. This form is for people who really, who really need help. And these are people who really want to become a patient in our office. Now, the first step to becoming a patient in our office is this complimentary phone consultation. This consultation will help both, both of us really understand if we're a good fit for one another. And that's so important when you work with any doctor, when you choose a doctor, all right? It'll also help me understand if this program is the right program for you. And if it's not, I'll be more than happy to share that with you and tell you why I don't think that this program would benefit you, okay? Now, people will often email me or call me wondering if I can work with patients outside of Illinois. And that's where my current practice really is. I, I practice in Naperville, Illinois. And, and so if you're outside of Illinois, if you live uh, in Romania, if you live in Australia, if you live in New Zealand or Canada or some other place, we definitely can still work together, okay? We can do that remotely. And uh, if that is the case, please indicate that on the form, uh, you know, where you'll fill out your name and your email. Just indicate where you live and also indicate what time zone you're in, okay? Really important for us. Now, if you're ready to get your life back, we would love to be a part of that reality, okay? We really, really would. If that's the case, please take a few minutes, fill out your name, your email, uh, put down the best phone number where, where we can obviously reach you. What will happen is someone from my office, they'll contact you, they'll schedule you for this, this free 15 minute phone consultation with me. And then that'll just be a great start to see if we have a, just a good chemistry in working together. And, and obviously if um, you know this is just the right thing for you, okay? Well, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer. I look forward to talking to you and, and really just helping you get the most out of your life, okay? Take care.